Hey guys, how's it going? This is DJ Fisher 20 here, and I'm back with another week of NFL predictions. This is week number seven. I don't know how much you guys love these videos, but if you haven't seen my other videos, feel free to check them out on my channel. Subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want. Also, since I reached 50 subscribers, I'm past that now. I'm at like 70, I think, right now. More than that. Please give a comment. I will be doing a kind of a Q&A. I'll be picking the questions from down below, show them on the screen, and then answering them. So if you're into seeing what I have to say about that, please leave a comment and turn on notifications. But um, thank you for all the support in my last video. Uh, a lot of things happened. This week was crazy. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, let's start off with my record for last week. Yeah, it was another decent week, I guess. You know, a lot of things caught me by surprise. I mean, you have that Aaron Rodgers injury. You have Andy Reid deciding to go for a touchdown instead of a field goal during that game, which really turned the tide there. The Giants won a game without Odell or any offense whatsoever against the Denver Broncos defense. And the Saints and Lions game, which I said would be a shootout, except I would hope it was in the opposite way. But that being said, pretty decent week. Um, so let's go into our first pick. So let's start off with this Thursday night's game, Chiefs versus the Oakland Raiders in Oakland. You have the Chiefs coming off of a loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers, which really came down to a pretty controversial decision by Andy Reid to go for a touchdown instead of a field goal, which really kind of switched the play calling in that game against the Raiders who lost on a field goal to the Chargers. So the Raiders, like I said, are a struggling team. I still think they are struggling. The Chiefs, they should have won that game. So this one, I'll have to pick the Kansas City Chiefs again. I mean, they're still a really good team, although they didn't do that well. The Raiders are, thinking, are just struggling a little bit more. So I'm gonna have to pick the Chiefs. Next, you got the Baltimore Ravens versus the Vikings. The Ravens lost to the Bears, who I said are a really good team. And like I said, they look like a really good team against the Vikings, who won, which I think was only because that Aaron Rodgers got hurt. But the Vikings did not have that bad of a game. Um, this one, I think, will go to the Vikings. And the Vikings are still a really good team, really good overall. Running back did good, receivers are good. Even with Sam Bradford out, Keenum is looking to hold his own. And I just think that the Vikings will win this one. Next, we got the Saints versus the Packers. You know, if Aaron Rodgers wasn't injured, this would be another good quarterback shootout game. However, the Aaron Rodgers injury is just going to hurt the Packers, I think, just too much. Now you're almost, even with those good receivers, I don't think that the, the back of quarterback can step in in his absence. I think that Drew Brees will have a pretty decent game, and I think the New Orleans Saints will beat the Green Bay Packers. Next up, we got the Jets versus the Dolphins. The Jets came off of a loss against the Patriots, which I think... They got a little robbed. I mean, you don't know how the game would end up being, but I think that was a touchdown. It was kind of a blown call. Played a decent game against the Patriots, and the Dolphins took him off of a good win against Atlanta in Atlanta. I think this game is going to be a really cool game to watch. I mean, both these teams are looking pretty decent. Um, this is going to be a hard one to pick, you know? But I am going to pick the New York Jets to win this game. I'm picking the Jets. The Dolphins are a really good team. This one can go either way because I think these two teams, it's not like one outshine the other, but I just still think that the Jets are a better team. Next game, we got the Panthers versus the Bears. Panthers coming off that Thursday night loss against the Eagles, which was a close game. Panthers are a really good team, but basically what it comes down to is they need to give Cam a little bit more help out there against a Bears team who won against the Ravens. Again, Trubisky got his first win. I tell you what, he is looking pretty decent. I know it's only his first two games, which you really can't give him a full body of work with two games. But like I said, the Bears fans, you should be very happy with your team right now. And they look like they could be a threat in upcoming years, especially since Aaron Rodgers is out. You don't know what's gonna happen in that division. But I think this game will go to the Carolina Panthers. Just, I still a Bear team. I'm not a, a Bears disser. I still think they're a really good team. I feel like the Panthers are a little bit better of a team, and they will win this game. Next game, we got the Arizona Cardinals versus the Los Angeles Rams. Got the Cardinals coming off of a good win against the Buccaneers, almost blowing it. May I add, they almost blew that big game that they had. Still a really good game against the Rams, who had a decent win against Jacksonville. Um, 
this game is going to be a little bit more hard to predict because these team, two teams are good, but as a full body of work goes, I will go with the Los Angeles Rams and Los Angeles to win this game. Both teams are really good. This is a game that I'd probably love to watch and see how it goes, but I'm going to have to pick the Rams in this one. Next, we got the Buccaneers versus the Bills. Buccaneers coming off of a co almost comeback win. They still lost, but they almost came back against the Cardinals, who basically blew them out of the water in the beginning against the, a Bills team. Um, the Bills are a really good team. The Buccaneers are a really good team. This is going to be another one of those great games. I feel like the Bills will win this one. It'll be a great game to watch, I think. But the Bills are a really good team. Decent team. Buccaneers are too. I just think the Bills have a slight advantage in this one. Next game, we got the Dallas Cowboys versus the San Francisco 49ers. Dallas just came off of a bye week after the week where they blew a lead to Aaron Rodgers in the fourth quarter comeback against the 49ers who just came off of a, another close loss, which again, Niners fans, I told you, just keep your heads up. It stinks, but just keep your heads up. Um, this, if we're back in the day, you know, this was a historic rivalry, especially in the playoffs. Um, it's not much of a rivalry anymore because the two teams are a little bit not as good as they used to be. I think in this one, the game's gonna go to the Cowboys. I wouldn't be surprised with another close loss, sorry Niners fans, but the Cowboys I feel like are still a better overall team than the 49ers, and it may be a good game, but I think the Cowboys are gonna beat the 49ers at home. Next game, we got the Cincinnati Bengals at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Bengals come off of a bye week after their good win against the Buffalo Bills, and the Steelers come off of a great win against the Chiefs. So now let me say that if the Steelers, great game, good game by Ben, Le'Veon Bell caught a fire that game, Antonio Brown caught fire that game, and there's a good overall game by the Steelers taking on the undefeated Chiefs, him in their first loss. This game is always a rivalry game, you know, hard hitting, flags are only thrown like all the time in this game. This game's gonna be a tough, you got a good, really good offense in the Bengals, and decent defense in the Bengals versus the Steelers team. You know, I'm going to go against the grind in this one. People are going to pick the Steelers. I'm actually going to pick the Cincinnati Bengals this one. It's going to be my surprise pick of the week. I know it may backfire, but I think Cincinnati beats the Steelers this week. Next game is the Seahawks versus New York Giants. Got the Seahawks coming off of a bye week. And the New York Giants finally getting their first win. Surprisingly against the Broncos, which I'm sorry, New York. I know I made fun of you guys. I apologize. This game is being played in New York, however, I do think that the Seahawks are going to beat the Giants. Nothing to knock on the Giants. I feel like they're just a better team. A lot of injuries for the Giants. I feel like they've maybe been a little bit of a fluke. So, Seahawks over Giants. Next game, you got the Broncos versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Broncos losing against the Giants, getting the Giants their first win, and the Chargers winning on a last second field goal against the Raiders. This game, you got things you got to consider. Broncos, Trevor Simeon is not good on the road. But the Chargers do not have that good of a home crowd when it comes to games. This game may be decent, but I think the Broncos will come back from their embarrassing loss against the Giants and beat the Chargers. And this game, we got Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Indianapolis Colts. Jacksonville coming off of a loss against the Los Angeles Rams. And the Colts coming off the game against the Titans. See, Jacksonville, you know, it's an odd week, and the defense is probably going to come out to play. Chiefs probably going to come out to play since it is an odd week against the Colts. So I say the Colts are still a little bit more struggling. I pick the Jaguars over the Colts. Next game, we got the Tennessee Titans at Cleveland versus the Browns. Tennessee coming off a game on Monday night against the Colts, and you got the Browns losing to Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans. This is a game that I'd probably want to pick Cleveland in. But I'm not going to because Cleveland, you've let me down too much. I'm sorry. I would want to pick you so bad. You don't know how bad I want to pick you, but I'm going to have to pick the Tennessee Titans. I would not be surprised if Cleveland won this game. So I know this pick doesn't really help you guys, but I think Tennessee wins this game. That's what I'm going to put on record, Tennessee over Cleveland. Next game, you got the desired rematch of the Super Bowl. Falcons versus the Patriots. As Falcons coming off of a loss against the Dolphins, and the Patriots coming off of a win against the Jets, again, on a controversial call. Um, this game is going to be great, I think. You know, However, the Patriots have been struggling a bit at home. Everybody's known that they're struggling just a bit at home. They seem to be coming a bit better as a team. It's going to be a tough one to pick. Um, the Patriots, it's hard to pick against them. Same thing with the Falcons. Man. Oh, this isn't easy. You know what? Falcons. I think Falcons are going to win this game. Um, 
they have something to fight for. They want to avenge that 28 to 3 choke. I know the memes are enough, right? Uh, but I just think the Falcons at this point have a that much better of a well rounded team. It's going to be a really, really close game. It's not going to be 28 to 3, but I think the Falcons barely are going to win this one against the Patriots. You got your last game of the week, Monday night, the Washington Redskins at Philly versus the Eagles. Redskins come off of a close win against the Niners. Again, the Niners come out again another loss. Eagles come off of a really good game, really good showing by Carson Wentz, the defense, Zach Ertz, even Nelson Aguilar could catch the ball. I mean, what's this world come to? <laughs> but for real, this game is going to be another good one. Uh, Monday night games against the Eagles and Redskins are pretty decent. You know, you got your body bag game. You got the game where the Eagles come out and destroy the Redskins. I think this one, it's in Philly, crowd's going to be hyped, it's going to be the Eagles on top of the Redskins in this one. And that's all my picks for this week. Tell me in the comments, who do you got, who should I have picked, am I crazy, and give me those questions that you want to hear me answer. With that being said, thank you for watching the videos, I hope to see you guys next week for more predictions.